Hey everybody, here we are out for a morning dog walk and we're at Eddysford Bridge, see the pub. We've uh, stopped overnight on the campsite, just around the corner. Just bear with me, the dogs have a wee. Out for the first time properly this year in Ulrika. That's the blonde bongo that we have. Small camper van. And we're going to go for a dog walk down by the river. So, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when we're on the river when I've got to pay attention a bit more. Right, right, in a bit are again. I'm literally on the banks of the river. You just cross over the bridge. I'm um, going for a walk down by the side of the river. There's some geocaches, so we'll go look for a geocache. It'll probably be, I don't know, walk for about half an hour and then turn around and come back. Not had breakfast yet. Dogs are looking at me as if uh, I'm mad what we're doing out before breakfast. But, then it wasn't up. So, couldn't get up the food. We could get at some, but I don't think it's a tiny dog food. That's the dog that's my for me. <laughs> oh, she's just there. Right, I'll talk to you a bit. Right, right, we've been about half an hour now. Uh, we're just approaching the geocache. I think we passed one earlier. Uh, there's definitely one on the other side of the river, but we're not going to go for that. Um, one a bit further back, I think one a bit further forward. We've already been to this area, so I think all the ones a lot further on have already been found. So, we've resorted to eating grass. So it's about time we went back to breakfast, I think, so we'll have a look, quick look for this one. Find it or not, we're going back. Right, 150 feet to go. We found this next corner, I think. I'll switch you off. Don't want to show the actual hide. Spoil it for everybody else. Well, anybody else who watches this. We brought the binoculars because I can't see what that is. Could be a duck. Not the one that's buying, that's a lot, that's a sheep. Right, we'll have a quick look at this one. And then we'll give you an update. Feet, so that's 50 feet to go, so we're getting close. Nope, that'll be a DNF for us. Too many muggles about, we've got muggles off about eight times in oh, about 15 minutes. By the same person twice. It's just a little bit too popular. Going back dog walk, it seems. Because we've seen more than one person twice. Don't know if there's another one on this side of the river on the way back. If not, that will be just a DNF for us for probably the day. I don't know. Might go out later. Might try the other side of the river next time. Uh, it sort of alternates between this side of the river and that side of the river. So, and um, the dogs are starting to whinge, wanting the breakfast. And to be honest, I think I am. Right, back uh, to the campsite. And um, cheers. See you later. Bye. Right. Well, it turns out there was another one on this side of the bank. Uh, went straight to it, found it, found the log sheet, I need to drop off one of my pa pad tags, 
So that's it. Job done. That was uh, the GPS was actually saying about 35 feet away when we got to the actual ground zero, but the hint was uh, very good. Just followed the hint. So that's one ticked off. Cheers. See you later. Bye. Right, just got to be careful of nettles on that one. There's rather a lot of nettles around it. Said to the excitement. So, we're off and running now, back for breakfast. Back to the campsite, back to Wolvika. Sunday morning, back on the campsite. I've uh, been out to take the dogs for a walk already. It's half nine. We've been out for a good hour, and this is this is the uh, the bongo. The the lid lifts up. The, the seats pull out to make the bed. Cooking facilities, microwave. Morning. Uh, got a fan heater in. That's not actually ours at the moment. Uh, and then here we have the awning. Diamond awning. Quick erect. Adds that little bit extra. Right, just thought I'd show you around the uh, bongo. There's the dogs, they've just had the breakfast. The large one's had half a breakfast. Seems to be going off the food a little bit. Not just because it's hot. And this is the video that we've got. Over fields and over the fells. Backing up to go home today. We're only here for a weekend. Been a nice break, especially since I've been baking hot with sunshine. Right, see you later, bye. Right, here we are again. Sunday afternoon, we've broken camp, left Eddysford Bridge, and we're going for a walk up Beacon Fell now. It's covered. Beacon Fell, it's near Longridge, it's uh, a hill, it used to have beacons on it back in the days when used to spread the message by beacon fire and it's now covered in fir trees and quite steep. Bell, here's Bell, he's saying hello, that's about it. Yes. She's not saying hello. Yeah, and then we're heading off to my mum's, going for a bit of afternoon tea, and then uh, we're sitting out in the garden because it's still. Well, I think we're sitting out in the garden because it's uh, still quite warm. Right, that'll do for that. Just also show you the beacon fell. So, those are all the other fells around about. Used to be a string of beacons. Used to stretch from Lancaster to somewhere else, I think. I'll probably have to put that in the description because I can't quite remember. Right, see you later. Bye. Here we are, just approaching the trig point on the top of Beacon Fell. But I'll show you it in a second, surrounded by people. Hi. Here we are at the summit. Here we are, this is the trig point. So 
Fleetwood off that direction. Pendle Hill, as I thought, that direction. Uh, that's Boland Fell. Up in front. The Lakeland Fells, which you can't really see. Is, uh, is a little bit hazy. So we'll just do the. We can just do the. There's, there's, uh, you can't see much that direction because there's trees. So that's the 360 degrees. And then it's back down again. It's a nice climb. Right. See you next time. Bye. On the train line with those stops. Should I sit back and just take it? Or should I call the shots? Don't listen to them.